Okay, real simple. There's just two connectors here and a hose clamp here and a hose clamp here. These connectors are simple in that they just lift up and then you can pull them off. Mm, come on, be simple. There you go. I'm gonna undo these hose clamps before I worry about that one because I know it won't come off very easy until I do. One, two. In my car, it's just easy to remove this whole clip that I'll put back up when I'm done. get in there so in here I have the high pressure fuel pump itself this is there are three bolts this one this one and then on this side you can see it hiding back there right right back there we just need to take off those three and then these two fuel hoses. Okay, on mine, it's an eight millimeter. There's bolt one, bolt two. Also, there's an electrical connector we'll have to unplug on this side too. It feels like bolt three is going to be easier to get after I take the fuel line off, but you can get it. I just did, but it was sort of at an angle. Anyway, one, two, three, probably easier to take that fuel line off first. So let's do that next. I'm going to take off the fuel line. Okay. So for the fuel lines, you've got this one and this one, you've got two. You've got, you could remove these wires, right? You've got this guy right here. And then this is just gonna take your open-ended wrench. This one's gonna be a little specific in that you're gonna push in this dot with like a screwdriver and then pull it off. Before that, I'm gonna get a paper towel and I'm gonna put it underneath so as to catch any fuel. Why is there a laser? Oh, that's to help me, to help level it. Oh, uh, you can see gasoline coming out of it right now. I was really hoping there would be very little. Why are you talking about yeah. Or are you making your videos? I'm making my videos. But I'm also talking to you too. There's gasoline coming out of the... Are you talking about videos when you're saying gasoline? Yes. <laughs> Here, one thing you can see here is I pulled off the, the nut and this line is what we're gonna remove. And you can see that this is threaded and that the threads are part of this block. And that's one of the ways you can tell the difference between two of the high pressure fuel pumps that I've seen online. There's a couple differences. But one is the N14, you screw into the block, and on this one, you actually, the, the pump itself screws out. I don't know. I don't want that to go too far. Next, we're gonna take off this one, this fuel line right here, and it's got a little black box on the side. I'm gonna press in with this screwdriver and then pull it off. I'm gonna try to show you the 
box. Hang on. See right here, this? We're gonna poke in our screwdriver there to depress it like a button and then pull it off. How's that? Okay, so both of the fuel lines are off. Now I'm gonna finish taking off these bolts and then it should come off. Oh, and it's got that electrical plug on it still. What's it hit? Got a couple of zip ties. Okay. Here's the last plug. do what I do to what I hear was difficulty I'm gonna put screwdrivers on both sides of it to take it off easy him you know what hurt him? if you got held from like the top of the house and dropped it would hurt you he's tiny dropping them really hard on I concrete go potty on. yep well then don't pick him up it's scared of me can i try to touch him Take him to some place that's oh. grassy. Oh. That way, if he falls or wants to play, he f he's in some place nice. Why is he trying to chase me? Why am I too close to him to make him? Good. I'm going to move all this, not people, all this, all this tail Okay, here's the new one. I'm going to put some oil on that O ring. All this cat, he's bottom. All this cat, he's bottom. Bottom, bottom, bottom. All this cat, he's All this cat, he's bottom. Obviously, this is going to have to line up with the spot in the can. I'll show you that really quickly. Just go get changed and then you can find them again. Okay, here's the orientation of the old one. Since that's where my... I'm going to turn it to look like the same. That's about where it's supposed to be. 
Okay, I've set both of the two spinny dealies to the same angle so that when I try to install it, it'll be roughly in the same spot. Here, we're gonna look inside so you can see. This is where the pump lines up. You can see where the shaft lines up with the pump on the inside of the engine. Here are the three, well, the two mounting points and the other bolt is, oil bolt point is over here. I'm gonna put it back in. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in that. Next, I'm gonna put this in position. There, wiggled. Perfect fit. I'm gonna pull this on. Low pressure line just snaps back into place. High pressure line. We'll thread back on. I should have put on that one bolt. I forgot the one in the back is going to be tricky. The front two will be easy. Okay, so I have the three bolts, the low pressure line and the high pressure line tightened on there. I'm gonna put this one clip back and we'll put back on the intake. Thank you. 